This is the inspection for broken and loose connections and uh, components in the uh, unit. This happens to be our oldest unit from the TK Education Center. This was a field trial unit, so it's most likely to have things wrong and I'm already seeing stuff. So for example, uh, we've got two big cables here. One's the battery cable that loops back and another cable here uh, that was used for something. This should all be zip tied down. Uh, because if it, it's got a power wire in it and it shorts out, it's going to cause a problem. These cables should be connected so they can't short it out. Uh, here's a broken zip tie. Uh, that needs to be replaced. Same thing, so you don't have things rubbing through. Here we have a loom uh, that is uh, worn through because of the door. Uh, that needs to be fixed so that it doesn't rub through any further than it already is. If you go into the engine area itself, you kind of want to do a, a pull on connectors. Here's the injector connectors. Make sure they're tight. Make sure stuff can't rub against it. There's a lot of zip ties on a Thermal King unit and for good reason because they, they're on the back of the tractor and they're pounding down the road and they vibrate a lot. Here's where someone's made an electrical repair, cut back the split loom. Uh, and zip tied it back down. This is actually a good way to prevent that, that wire from uh, rubbing through earlier. So someone did a good job there. Uh, other things to look for are um, just the condition of the connector, condition of the split loom, uh, a lot of the stuff. This isn't tied down well enough. This needs to be zip tied to that so that it can't move around quite so much. Um, right up here, there is, let's see if I can get my camera on it. Uh, there is a wire that can get real close to that metal edge right there. So that can touch. You want to zip tie that away so that doesn't wear through. Uh, this unit had some other optional um, connections to the wiring harness. They're just hanging here dangling. Once again, if it's a two pin plug, one of them's power, you want to bundle them up, zip tie them so that they don't wear through and short out and cause you a problem. While you're looking at the electrical harness, which is what we focused on mostly so far, you want to look at the tube fasteners, make sure they're in good condition, not cracked, broken, missing, because if the tubing isn't supported, what can happen is, here's another one, uh, can shake, bake, crack, and cause you a problem. And then finally, also look for other signs of leaks. So anything that's wet, damp, um, um, leaking, dripping, dusty, uh, probably indicates a seal that's leaking. Another thing you wanna look for is corrosion. Here's the suction line. This uh, soldered connection is showing some signs of corrosion. That should be written up because eventually that's going to leak too. Um, now, if this is true on every precedent unit or um, trailer and truck unit, you're going to look for all of this stuff. Uh, but if you've got a multi temp, you've got a few more things. On a multi temp, you have remote evaporators. And here we have one, once again at the TK Education Center. Um, You've got to look for connections in these two, like we've taken the, it off and you can see that there's a bunch of wiring that's just been zip tied out of the way up here. There's electrical connections, there's refrigeration connections in here. Uh, you just want to, like we did with the unit, you want to just give it a good going over, make sure that uh, there's nothing broken, loose, uh, rubbing uh, that can cause a problem. And we come around, look the other way, uh, same thing, you're just inspecting for things that can rub against each other.